Okay, so if we want to simplify this expression, the first thing we kind of want to do is simplify each of the expressions. And one way to do that is factor out. So if I'm looking at the top on the first part, the greatest common factor is 3x. So let's factor that out. So I get 3x while I'm left with 1 minus 3x squared divided by 3x, or you factor it out, leaves you with an x. And so if I want to simplify the bottom, I need to be able to factor it. So I have x squared plus 4x minus 5. And what that factor is into, if we want, we can do the diamond method. So if I'm going to move over here, complete the diamond method. So you're going to put your last number on the top, which is negative 5. So I'll put negative 5. And then you're going to put your middle number in the bottom. So I have um, not negative 4, a positive 4. Now I'm looking at negative 5, two factors of negative 5 that add to a positive 4, well, that's negative 1 and a positive 5. Now I just split it into two parentheses, into two binomials. I'll have x minus 1 and x plus 5. Then if I look out the next one, right, I am going to have x squared plus x minus 20. Well, let's do another diamond. So I'm going to have negative 20 on top, I'm going to have a 1. Now, what are two factors of negative 20 that add to a positive 1? Well, it's going to be a positive 5 and a negative 4. So on the top of this, I'm going to have x plus 5 and then x minus 4. On the bottom, I still have 3x. Let's sort of simplify things now, all right? I know that a couple of them already can disqualify, but this guy and this guy look really, really, really similar. So what I want to actually do on this part, I want to factor out. So factor out a negative. All right, when I factor out a negative, it then becomes, it switches. So then I'm going to get 3x of x. I'm going to put a negative 3x out there. A negative 3x, and it will be x minus 1, because then it will become negative 1 and plus 1 when I factor out a negative. And it's still over x minus 1 times x plus 5 multiplied by x plus 5 times x minus 4 all over 3x. Now let's simplify. So let's cross out. x minus 1's go away. x plus 5's go away. 3x goes away. I still have that negative on the outside, so that's fine. But let's see what I'm kind of left with. And when I move over, right, I'll rewrite my problem. So I am left with a negative x minus 4 all over 1. That 1 can kind of go away. And then if I want to distribute that negative, right, I'm going to have a negative x plus 4. And that's your answer.